These kids have found guidance and the necessary support within the school system to get them back on track. An all too often overlooked achievement. Camden educators are celebrating their most improved students. A lot of times in the educational setting we highlight, you know, honor roll and perfect attendance, but you know, we don't really talk about students who started at a low point and start making improvements. So this event today is like wonderful for those kind of kids. The first ever back on track student luncheon honored nearly two dozen students from Woodrow Wilson High School and Camden High School who've worked to overcome attendance, academic or behavior issues. Obviously a lot, a lot of students have to work. Many students have to, you know, take their younger siblings to and from school. Some of our students have children of their own. Um, and when a large percentage of our student body is living below the poverty level, um, that poses a lot of difficulties. Um, some kids don't eat all the time. You know, some kids don't have the uniforms to come to school, so they're embarrassed. 17-year-old Kiara Welch is one of the honorees. It all started with my attendance because with just working and at a young age and then getting up, going straight to school, and especially on a cold day, it's kind of hard. But with Mr. Swindell on my back about it and all of that, it was really like supporting and made me get up like, hey, I need to get up and it's a lot out there for me. The school's dropout prevention officers and deans of climate and culture chose the honorees to attend a luncheon sponsored by the Rotary Club on the 100th day of school. I got to see so many people from my community uh, made it. They, they made it, I know I could make it. So just trying to follow in their footsteps and be the next big big thing out here to my city and do what I could do, push forward in life, succeed. Keynote speaker and Woodrow Wilson High School alum Rashawn Prelo talked about overcoming his academic struggles and run-ins with the law, getting back on track and landing a job at the Obama White House. Oftentimes, people feel neglected or people can feel like their hard work or their turnaround isn't being recognized. And I think it's important to catch people at the early stages of their turnaround so that way we can build confidence and let them know that there's support as they continue to travel to the, the, the right path. The nearly two dozen students honored here today were given a certificate, a Rutgers swag bag, and a message educators hope will stay with them for years to come. Don't let past failure define you, and progress doesn't stop here. In Camden, I'm Erin Delmore, NJTV News.